I'm here with cosmetology instructor Carol Rovido. Carol, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Can you tell us about the program and what's going on today? So cosmetology has only been in, at Pickerton for four years, so we're the newest building. Um, today, we're actually sponsoring Water's Edge doing a photo shoot. That's exciting. Can you tell us more about how the students are getting involved? So our students just participated at a fashion show last week and did competition work where we took first, second, and third place in one division, which was amazing. The students are fabulous. So today they're actually seeing what other things they can do with this degree. That's awesome. So I understand the theme is Africa and kind of Art Deco? Yes. That's exciting. So how are the students reacting? They're enjoying all aspects of it. We've actually had some of the other CT programs coming in too that didn't even know our building existed or that cosmetology was even at Pinkerton. So I think getting us out there, because we are that new program, but our students have really enjoyed the makeup part of it because we don't really feature that too much because we're really more about hair. So getting that makeup and seeing the different things they can do with makeup has been really amazing for them. That's exciting. So what do you see in the future for the cosmetology program? I see us growing so big that we will have to probably hire another teacher. Right now we still have a part-time teacher, Kelly Filter, so we're hoping that when our program gets even bigger that she may be full-time. Awesome. Well, Carol, thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add? We do actually welcome the public on Fridays. We're open clinics, so we would love to have people. The students love working on guests so they don't have to work on their mannequins. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Everybody, Fridays. <laughs> Carol, thank you very much. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about what's been fun today and about how you got to deck out your model? Oh, yes. Well, this is Elise, and I made her a parrot, a tropical bird. And we did some fun stuff with her hair. Her hair is light blonde, but we put some green and some blue and some gold in there. Uh, Sherry, our makeup artist, actually did her makeup. And uh, it took about two hours. It was fun. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'll ask Elise, how do you feel? Awesome. I love I love bright colors and I just it's cool to be a bird. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it sounds like an awesome way to feel beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I know it feels really cool and I really love this dress. Well, you look stunning in it. You are a stunning bird. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about some of the flowers and the theme. Well, it is tribal themed, so a lot of the flowers are tropicals. I brought in cymbidium orchids, um, calla lilies, a lot of tropical grasses were in, in, used in the creations as well. And we've just been playing with them. I made a few um, pieces for the models to wear. One of them is wearing a bandeau that is covered in orchids, and she's also wearing a headpiece that I constructed out of wire. So it was a lot of fun. I'm delighted to be here today with director Shelley Devlin. Shelley, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for coming. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with the cosmetology program here at Pinkerton. Mm, well, Sherry and I, who's the manager of my salon, we are on the cosmetology um, board for the advisors, and we were in the beginning productions of the building and all. So it's super excited to see it come to life. Uh, we've had photography students that have come down that didn't even know cosmetology was down here. And we decided to do an entire photo shoot with the cosmetology department for them to see exactly what's involved. That's great. And how are the kids doing? How do they like it? The kids are loving it. A lot of the photography students didn't even know cosmetology was in existence, so we might have a few more students enrolling in cosmetology after this today. That's, that's incredible. So tell us a little bit about the theme. Mm. Well, two of my girls at the salon decided 
they wanted to do an avant-garde theme. So we decided that Africa-inspired jungle would be exciting. Um, we have photographers, professional photographers, that are here as volunteers to shoot this for the day. All of our models are friends and family that are just super excited about having a fun day today. And uh, all Africa-inspired themes. So flowers and jungle theme. We have everything from snakes to parrots um, to birds, all kinds of fun stuff. Anything real when you say snakes and parrots and so on? Oh, good question, my friend. Animal Sciences is, is involved, and they are going to be bringing two snakes with the handlers in for some of the photo shoot today. I can't wait to see this. I will be at the exit over there when the snakes come in. So you're not a fan of the live snakes? N not so much. <laughs> well, I think that's incredible that Pinkerton's different departments are all getting involved in this, so every department can be aware of one another more fully and all of its fabulous fashionable splendor. Yes, we have everybody from the photography um, department as video department. We also have culinary involved. They're providing lunch and snack for the models um, and as well as the cosmetology department too. So it's awesome that all the CTE programs are involved. speaking with one of the models here at Pinkerton Academy's cosmetology program. What's your name? I'm Nina. Nina, nice to meet you. Talk to us about this hair. This hair? Um, just a ton of hairspray. Yeah, and back combing, honestly. And this is all your hair? Yes, it's all my hair. Wow, so are you being careful when you're walking a little bit? Not really, because it feels extremely sturdy. <laughs> That's a lot of spray. <laughs> I love your makeup. So talk to us a little bit today about what's been fun for you. What's the most fun? Um, well, I went to school with Caroline, and we went to beauty school together, so it's fun to watch, like, sit down and be a model for once, too, and be able to watch everyone else get their hair and makeup done. That's great. So it's nice to take a turn on the other side of things? Yes, it is, extremely. We don't get a lot of time to just be on in the chair instead of behind the chair. I'm delving a little deeper into the inspirations for this great program. So can you tell us a little bit more about the inspiration? Um, back towards the end of September, Caroline, myself, and our manager, Sherry, went to the makeup show in Dallas. It's a huge show, uh, lots of classes and booths to uh, visit. So our very first class that we took, he was doing avant-garde inspired makeup, body painting. And we kind of looked at each other and like, I wish we could do another shoot because we do these every once in a while. So it was told if we wanted to do the shoot, it was our baby and we had to make it. And it grew and grew pretty quickly <laughs> by the time the day came. Well, that's awesome. This is really, really, really fun. So tell us more about why this is so much fun for you. Well, um, this is my first photo shoot that I've been a part of with The Water's Edge. So it's really exciting to see. I've seen all the photos, all the pictures of other photo shoots. So it's fun to be a part of it for the first time. Um, it's fun to, it's been fun to plan out what we want to do and um, watch it grow as Danielle was saying. Um, we got Pinkerton involved, I graduated from Pinkerton. It's really cool for the students to be a part of this as well and see what um, a real salon kind of does outside of just the cosmetology class at Pinkerton. That's nice, they get some nice fashion making people feel beautiful and that's really, really important. Yeah, it is and it's really cool because we have one of, our, one of our receptionists at the salon, she is a Pinkerton student, so she's here, she's working with us, so it's cool for the other students to see that she's part of our team as well, and she gets to be hands-on involved just like we are. model Alicia Barasa. Alicia, thank you so much for speaking with us today. No problem. Thank you for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about why you're here today. 
Well, um, I'm here because I love modeling. Um, I like to do fun stuff um, that's sort of like outside my comfort zone. Um, this is definitely outside my comfort zone, obviously. Um, and I will be holding some snakes um, and stuff like that. So it kind of drew me in because it was, you know, something different. Um, I've never done this before. And um, I've modeled with this um, salon before, uh, Water's Edge. And they asked me to come back and they've actually inspired me a lot to uh, continue modeling, so I'm really happy they asked me. That's exciting. Talk to us about how you're feeling about that snake. It's a live snake. It's two live snakes, I guess, and I'm um, hoping it's not too big, um, but I'm not really one to like reptiles, so we'll see what happens. I'm definitely open to um, trying it out, so I'll try not to run away or scream freaking out too much. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, that's excellent. It's a great testimony to stepping outside of your comfort yeah, zone and yeah. um, different way to feel beautiful. Yes. Oh, I definitely do. I definitely do. Oh, you look it. I love this exotic Thanks. thing you've got going with your hair. Let's show off that. Now, is this all, is that your hair? Uh, this is not. So my hair is in a bun here. Okay, I see. I have this big thing attached here and it sort of just goes down and it's attached in the back. So it's um, pretty genius work, I think. <laughs> it looks it. Yeah, Very yeah. awesome. Cool. Well, Alicia, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. volunteer photographers bringing this event to life. Thank you so much for being here and speaking with us. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Sure. Um, my name is Jennifer and I run Studio L Photographers out of Nashua, New Hampshire and we are a portrait and wedding um, photography business. Excellent. So what inspired you to help out today? Um, I've actually done um, quite a bit of events with Shelly and the girls at Water's Edge. Um, I love creativity. Um, they couldn't keep me away today and uh, just that's why I'm here. I love to get creative. They love to get creative so creative people working together is just fantastic. It's really come together really nicely. What's your favorite part so far? Um, the snake with Alicia. How can you not like that snake? <laughs> that was fantastic. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I just think this is a, a wonderful event and thanks everyone for um, putting it together and all the students coming out and learning and um, just it's a great Monday. 